So we left um, Cootamundra really, really early, as you could, as you saw, and um, finally got to Sydney. I met up with Loretta and and that, and then um, we were just sort of hanging out at the airport. And Mum gave me this cool little, um, it's a little Saint Christopher. You can't really see it, but it it's just like the protector of travellers or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, the flight was so, so long, like it just kept going and going and going and Loretta like was asleep in and out of consciousness and I was just kind of like sitting there. I watched about eight episodes of Modern Family, Steph if you're watching. Um, yeah, so that was pretty fun. I mean, no it wasn't, it wasn't fun at all, it was pretty, really, really epic and um so about halfway through the night, I sort of dozing off, whatever, and I woke up and I sort of looked over and the lady who was sitting next to me was like grasping me on the leg and I was just kind of like, oh my God, okay, th that's enough. <laughs> um, and so got away from her. We got to LA and um, Loretta sort of went through really, really quickly through the citizenship gate or whatever at Customs. Mine took like an hour and I had to fill out all this paperwork and stuff. Finally got to the security guy and he sort of asked me, oh, what are you doing in Australia? And I said, I am studying abroad in Massachusetts. And he said, oh, cool, cool. Whereabouts in Australia are you from? And I said, oh, I'm from a little town near Canberra. Um, you probably haven't heard of it. And he said, oh, is it Wagga Wagga? And I sort of said, oh, not Wagga, but near there, and he said, oh, okay, well, I've been to Wagga Wagga before, and I was like, oh, sweet, so that was pretty fun. He's actually friends with the Today Show weather lady, whoever that is. Um, yeah, so we were, we were at LA. I mean, I was expecting palm trees and stuff like that, like what you see on TV and stuff, but it was pretty awful, um, pretty busy and I don't know I guess LAX is the biggest airport in the world so it was kind of just like that um Tom Bradley if you're watching there is an airport <laughs> named after you right there so I saw that um yeah so we lined up at the um lined up at Denver airport at the terminal we were flying to Denver on and um it all the the computers were down, so we had to like line up for ages. It took forever, and um, finally got on the plane, got to Denver, got our bags and stuff. The airport in Denver, I don't know if it's really long or really big or whatever, but there was a train to get from the terminal where we landed to the baggage claim. And every time the doors shut or there was something over the PA or whatever they would have like this banjo music play and I was just kind of like okay this is Colorado this is like <laughs> so typical and um yeah so we were hanging out waiting for um we met up with one of Loretta's friends and we were just waiting for ages at the bus stop until we finally got on the bus and then about half an hour down the road there was I'm um, not even that like five minutes down the road there was snow on the ground um and I got all excited. I haven't seen snow in a while. And then, like, by the time we got into Boulder, there was just snow everywhere. And there's, like, snow-covered mountains and stuff. Actually, I'm just at Loretta and Shane's apartment right now. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but just out the back here, um, there's snow. Oh, that was annoying. Um, snow just, like all over the place, all over the street and stuff. Um, it's pretty pretty cold right now. Um, I don't think it's been above about four degrees Celsius the whole time I've been here, even on the really sunny days. So yeah, um, it's been pretty cold. But the other night we were walking home and it was like minus 13 or minus 15 or some crazy cold temperature. Everyone speaks in Fahrenheit here too, which is kind of, um, I just say, oh, what's freezing, what's freezing point, and then try and work it out from there. Um, so, yeah, we got to Boulder, and I met a whole bunch of Loretta's friends, and we all got really, really drinking. And I had a bit of a classic night and got a bit too drunk and that. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> the altitude and the jet lag and everything else made me a little bit sick. But woke up the next morning ready to go again, and um, I hung out with Shane Smith, 
um, friend of mine from I House and we went down and got breakfast bagel. Everybody here, like bagels, not bagel, um, burrito. Burritos are like the most sparsely eaten food. I've never, I mean, like you get burritos back home, like from Mexican or whatever, but everybody is just crazy about burritos. Like you, wherever you go, you can get burrito. It's it's insane. So I got like this breakfast burrito with egg and it had like little hash brown nuggets and stuff on it. It was the most craziest food I'd ever seen. And that morning I really needed it. I was a bit sick, but um, yeah. And then we hung out all, a bit that day and then had a few more drinks that night and went out in town in Boulder um, to this place called The Walrus, which was really, really fun. Um, I would, yeah, it was really cool. And these beers that they had there were like, imagine a Pringles can filled with beer and costed $3 each. Like, I've never seen alcohol that cheap ever. Like, I'm not, like, it's probably, it might even be bigger than a Pringles can. Like, it was huge. Um, and that night I met some other Aussies who were studying in Boulder. So that was fun. Um, the next day, what did I do? Oh, we went out for some drinks and met a few more of Loretta's hippie friends. No offence, guys. Um, we had pitches that were basically six or seven shots in a jug and they cost $8. And, like, Loretta and her friends were saying about, like, talking about how expensive that is and I just thought, okay, you can't even buy this in Australia at all. Um, yeah, and then later on that night we went to a Pink Floyd kind of show which was fun. Um, it was pretty busy and warm, like it was hot in, in the concert and stuff. Um, but Dylan, Dylan Berkeley and Tom Large were in, are in, were in town at the time. And so I sort of, um, I left the show and caught up with them and we went out and stuff. I went to a few parties and that, and I saw my first frat house, which I don't know, it was kind of weird thinking, you know, that's like on TV and stuff. I don't know. Um, they had these like massive lions out the front. It was crazy. Like these big lion gargoyle thingies. Um, yeah. The next day we, we were hanging out. I was hanging out with Dylan and Largy and Shane and we went up, um, one of their friends took us up to, um, up into the mountains and we went to this place. It was like, it was in the mountains, in, like right in this canyon and everything was all covered in snow. It was like the coldest day of the year. Everyone couldn't believe how cold it was. And we uh, um, we were going to check out this these border, boulder waterfalls. Um, it was really, really cold and snowy and icy and the path was shut. So we just jumped the fence and sort of walked along the walked along the the path but the path was all covered in ice and snow and obviously we weren't meant to be on it and um i mean we had a few <laughs> close calls i guess nearly ended up in the in the creek but yeah it was fun hanging out with those guys um that night we went to this place called uh that afternoon sorry we went and i had a beer or two at this um place called the dark horse which is just this really really quirky like hippie bar with like all this kind of just crazy random stuff just all over the walls all over the ceiling um the the american football was on and so there was this big pit in the middle of the bar and it was filled with tables and chairs and stuff and people were sitting there doing their thing and the whole roof was just covered in like horse chariots and like unicycles and like old paintings from like I don't know the 50s and stuff it was pretty fun um it's like this old saloon bar which was good um and I had ch I had wings for the first time like chicken wings um which were pretty nice um yeah and then since then we've just sort of been checking out the city and stuff it's just been really snowy and cold and that kind of thing Sorry for the, it's a pretty long update, I know, and sorry if I'm boring you guys, but I've had a bit more to talk about this time around. Tonight, um, Loretta and her friends want to go to this ladies' night, um, girls drink for free, which I just think is unbelievably insane. 
And um, yeah, so I don't know how that'll go. I've got to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning to get a cab back to Denver Airport. And then I'll fly up to Hartford tomorrow and see Taryn by about 6 p.m. So it'll be a long day. But yeah, anyway, I'll see you later, guys.